morning and welcome back to Morning Markets. Paul Durrance, Investment Director. Happy New Year to you all. It's been just under two weeks since our last Morning Markets uh, episode. So if we start by reflecting on how financial markets performed in the last week of December. In general, equity markets were positive with European and US stocks both rallying approximately 0.9%. Here in the UK, the FTSE 100 was up marginally 0.2%, held back by somewhat by the pound strengthening against the US dollar. Why is that? The big UK companies generate the majority of their revenues from overseas and in US dollars. Therefore, they get hit by the currency translation effects when the pound strengthens. In terms of equity markets yesterday, the UK was closed uh, for the bank holiday, European and US markets got the new, uh, new year off to a good start with good positive returns. The S&P 500 posted a fresh record high. No change in market narrative to start the year. Uh, positivity centred around favourable financial conditions for businesses and households, while corporate profits are expected to remain healthy despite the inflationary headwinds. The strength of the pound we've seen in December is worth noting. In the charts, we can see that that since June, the pound weakened against the US dollar down 7% as the US central bank started to talk more about the persistent threat of inflation, thereby increasing the probability of higher interest rates sooner. Since the 15th of December, however, uh, to the year end, the pound has regained somewhat of this weakness up 2.4% following the Bank of England's decision to raise interest rates by 0.15% to 0.25%. The Bank of England decided to raise interest rates in the face of rising Omicron cases. Recent studies suggest that Omicron, the Omicron strain could pose a, less, a lesser threat to public health than its predecessors, meaning herd immunity may come sooner given the higher number of cases. Yesterday, the pound gave back some of its recent strength with US dollar appreciating. Yesterday, we had the first important data set of the year with the European Manufacturing Survey data. The data survey the data showed that factory growth was robust in December. Looking at the individual survey components, Output for the manufacturers, which is a good guide to economic health, held steady. Comments suggest that factories took advantage of some easing in supply chain uh, bottlenecks and stocked up on raw materials at record price. Inventories saw a survey record increase with inflationary pressures receding only slightly. That's all for today. Thank you for listening and we'll see you tomorrow. Subscribing to the True Potential YouTube channel is quick and easy. Simply go to the channel on your desktop or through the YouTube app on your phone and click the subscribe button. You can then press the notification bell symbol if you wish to be notified as and when new videos are released. Doing this is a great way to keep yourself updated with market developments and personal finance insights. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and we look forward to continuing to help you do more with your money.